Hello everyone, I'm David Bayata, the CEO here at Bayata Home Healthcare. Today is Tuesday, May 26th, and this is your CEO update. As we come out of what I hope uh, was, relatively speaking, uh, a restful Memorial Day weekend where you could at least, from a distance, spend time with family and friends, uh, we are now encountering lots of situations where society is reopening. I think in every community where all of us live and work, there's some element of evolution happening. And so for that reason, it's really important that we stay disciplined and focused on all of the protocols that we've been learning and evolving over the last 12 weeks. Um, things, while we hope, are moving in the right direction, uh, we are clearly still in the middle of a pandemic. And so uh, I asked Nora Triola, our chief clinical officer, to join us again to share some of those consistent and very uh, relevant still uh, protocols that we need to be mindful of as we progress into the summer uh, in a post Memorial Day opening uh, experience. Nora? Thank you, David. And again, it's a privilege to join you this afternoon to talk about the fundamentals that we've been talking about all along. Uh, as we see the states start to open and we begin to pick up some of our routines, it's, it's clearly important that we stay focused on safety and keeping yourselves healthy. And the first and foremost thing I wanna remind you of is, is we've talked a lot about the importance of social distancing and making sure that when you think about those activities that you're planning to do, you think about that risk benefit equation and you think about, uh, can I maintain social distancing and can I keep six feet apart from those that I don't normally live in my household with and, and haven't been around for a while now. We also wanna make sure that we're paying attention to keeping uh, that, that cloth face shield with us so that we can use our comfort mask um, to keep those around us from getting anything that we might have. Remember that mask keeps them protected from us. And so that cloth face mask or our comfort mask as we call it, is a, is a key reminder to think about as you exit the house and go into the community and you wanna be sure you use day in and day out. You've heard many, many times our discussions about the need for hand hygiene. Um, hand hygiene is essential and that practice of good hand washing, um, doing it often, doing it thoroughly, making sure that we uh, get all parts of our, our hands and our fingers, uh, that 20 seconds is the important time frame for using soap and water and making sure that we do it regularly. We also wanna make sure that those, those hands don't touch anything on our face. Um, it's really important to keep uh, your, your fingers away from your nose, mouth, and eyes, that T-zone as Susan and Bridget teach us, really important so that we don't contaminate ourselves by something that may be on our hands. So that avoiding the eyes, nose, and mouth is important. And then engaging in good um, self-care to make sure that you're well rested, your, your nutrition is up, and that you are ready to keep yourself as, as uh, well-tuned and healthy as you possibly can. So I think as we, as we think about these basics, um, we know that they're so important, so wanted to make sure that we reminded you again with things opening of these key fundamentals and what better way to, to bring it home than uh, really to have our own singer, songwriter, um, music therapist from our hospice uh, practice, Hannah Phillips, teach us a little bit about the importance of hand washing. Enjoy the video. Protect yourself and others Oh, 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 your soap and water Wash for 20 seconds straight Protect yourself and others Germs can get onto your hands And all that you touch It's nothing new, but let's review Why soap and water is a must Oh, 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 your soap and water Wash for 20 seconds straight Protect yourself and others 
it have to be hot or cold? Either as long as it's clean liquid or bar soap. Either as long as it's clean towel or air dry. Either as long as it's clean. Does it have to be antibacterial? No, it doesn't have to be. But if your hands aren't physically dirty and there's no soap and water, use at least 60% alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Oh, 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 your soap and water. Wash for 20 seconds straight. Protect yourself and others. Oh, 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 your soap and water. Wash for 20 seconds straight. Protect yourself and others.